welcome back to the grand finals of T2 APEC, men's and women's championship playoffs. We already know which three players have booked their spot in the final. Now is the last slot. It is up to Dmitry Ajarov or Jun Mizutani. I am joined by Yug Roskov, who uh, we are seen featured for the first time. But of course, Dmitry Ajarov will be the man to hopefully bring you and uh, himself into the grand final. So let's get your input on this. Dmitry had a fantastic year. He's won four World Tours so far, World Cup uh, champion. So today, going up against Jun Mizutani in the league, his record against Jun was not good. Can you tell us why? Okay, they know each other well, but um, he is full of self-confidence uh, because, as you said, the last uh, weeks, months, he played fantastic. So hopefully um, he can do it today also. But uh, Jun, he likes to play against uh, Dima, so we will see. It. I think it will be a fantastic match. Absolutely, I agree with you as well. So looking at Jun Mizutani's style and Dimitri's style, we know Dimitri can handle the pressure. So what will give an itch to uh, either side? You know, what is that extra push that they need to really send themselves into the final? I think in the rallies, uh, Dima is quite strong. He has to keep it up uh, with service and return. I think this will be the key of the match because Jun is uh, perfect for this, the placement of the table service and return. He's uh, well known that he's one of the best in the world, so uh, hopefully this uh, fits. All right, thank you so much, uh, Jörg Roskov, for your input. Let's now uh, get to a uh, Jürgen person side of things now. Congratulations for Bernadette Sergia getting uh, you into the Women's Championship final as well. You know, some, some coaches here say that you're always a lucky man, but hey, looking at how Jun Mizutani got to the men's final as well, replacing Vladimir Samsonov, it is just fate that he will be featured here, isn't it? Yeah, he was a little, of course, lucky, but it's sad for Vlad that he cannot be here, yeah, he had, but they were on the same sets, uh, so many players, I mean, so I feel like he, it's good that he's here, yeah, he had been playing well in the end of the season, yeah, so I feel he's confident, and of course, like Rossi said, there are t two teammates are playing, and I think June also now are very motivated because Dima have been showing some fantastic form the last month, yeah, so we have to find some keys to, to take the win. Jun Mizutani versus Dmitry Archerov. They are teammates, like you said, club level, so they know each other so well. So in a situation like this, you know, uh, fighting for a grand final spot, what would give Jun the edge, you think? What do you hope that Jun will show today? I hope he will show that he's not afraid. I mean, yeah. he, he must show confidence. And of course, it's very important to make a variation in the game, yeah? Because the same there, Rossi said, Dima is very good when it comes to the rally. She's so powerful, yeah? So hopefully June can make some small tricks during the game yeah, and make short the balls. Well, well, we will find out. Thank, Thank you very much, Jürgen Persson. And of course, it's Dimitri Archera versus June Mizutani. Please give a big round of applause to Germany's Dimitri Archera. His opponent, Jun Mizutani from Japan. Dmitry Ajarov versus Jun Mizutani. Well, this is going to be a finale of the first championship finals competition here in T2. We've got, uh, we've had three unbelievable semi-finals already. This one has the recipe to be even more spectacular. Not only because there's such exciting players, but because there is a lot at stake here. Dmitry Ovtorov has had an amazing year, amazing season, World Cup champion. He's just won the German Open as well. There's a, so much that he has had as far as success is concerned. Mitsutani, again, a little bit fortunate in that he's here because uh, Vladimir Samsonov went down with a, a fever. In fact, I, uh, I heard from Dmitry that he went down to something, was it 39.8 or something like that? He was in Orenburg, where I was earlier this year. And of course, they're all three of them are teammates with the Fakal Orenburg team. In fact, they, were, uh, they won the championship in Europe earlier this year and uh, he was still there but word has it that he will try to come out and at least be present for the uh, last couple of days of the tournament. Ovchirov 
he is something special. I mean, following on in the legendary footsteps of Timo Boll, that's for sure. Mitsutani, of course, had the reputation early in his career being the youngest uh, Japanese national champion at the age of 17. He is spectacular. We love to watch him. Again, he's a lefty, but uh, Dimitri, he just uh, is so, so good when push comes to shove. There's Paris Khalil, uh, clearly our uh, umpire for this one. She's got a serious face. There's a serious job in hand. There's no doubt about that. But in the earlier rounds, it was victory for Mitsutani, won 2-1 in round one, and he won 4-2 in round six. So he does have that precedent. But I tell you, you take nothing for granted. Ofchirov is hungry, and there's a big money stake, uh, $40,000 for winning in the final. So there's a lot at stake here. They are teammates, they're the best of friends. But I tell you, on 24 minutes on the court, there will be war, there's no doubt. And in fact, whilst I'm talking of war, the kill zone warm up will take place in just a couple of moments. Jill Parker is with me again, I'm delighted to say. And uh, there's no doubt there's the uh, referee's representative here. And uh, Jill, in your day, the European champion, world number six, English champion, president of the English Association Federation, already now, have you ever seen table tennis of the like we've seen at T2 before? No, I've seen some brilliant matches here, and I'm sure this one will be equally as good. Both these two will be playing very fast and furious, taking the ball early. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's a kill zone warm-up. This is not actually counting towards the points for the semi-final. This is just a little warm-up with a bit more edge to it. We saw a kill zone, unbelievably kill zone match. The last match with Bernie such is coming through and taking it. And of course, it could happen again in the real match later on. This is just for fun, you might say. At least the crowd get a feel for what's going to happen. Ah, there's that little famous backhand. Oh, already the shoulders are opening up. Just a little flavor of what's going to happen in the match. It's good to see three all. We'll stop at five, the first to five. Three. Three, four. Okay. Three, four. Dimitri could have first blood here. And he has, that's five, it. Three. Five, three. That's yeah. the end of the warm up, the end of the kill zone. And there's no doubt at all that this matchup of all of them, everyone has been looking forward to enormously. Dmitry Okturov with that famous backhand. Mitsutani, and look at the reach there that we've seen in the previous uh, encounters. Mitsutani celebrates because he knows how strong his opponent, Dmitry Okturov, originally from Kiev in the Ukraine, Ukraine moved to Germany. He's now Second semi-final. Who's going to play against Timo Boll in the final? There you go. I've already explained that. In round one, it was 2-1 to Mitsutani. In round six, it was 4-2 to Mitsutani. Now for the big, big real play. Dimitri starts with that famous backhand. Ha-ha! <laughs> Jill, what do you think? Well, that's a great start. Fantastic four, and there he played on the diagonal. Right. And again, they know each other so well. They play, they practice with each other, they support each other in the in the team tournaments. Down, down in Orenburg, well, it'll be. I'm sure it'll be snowing by now down there. It's really uh, fascinating. Right on the the Asian-European border. It's a fabulous um, table tennis club. Hundreds of kids go through their hands in the club. Ovcharov 
Three one. Great start. Okay. And they saw there Octorov with that very spinny backhand serve, and he follows in with that strong third ball. Huge amount of side on it. Oh, you beauty. That's absolutely stunning. The serve and the third shot, dynamic and yeah. very effective. Takes the ball so early and with a lot of power. The power from the wrist and elbow, as well as using your, your legs as well. Nice work there for two. It's the time he, he does reach and he counter punches beautifully. Yeah, okay, I agree. There's that little expelling of breath. You can hear it, can't you, during the rallies. Both of them do it. I've heard them and seen them. That was out for... I think Octorov does it more in training. Yeah, true. Than in a match. Yeah, but this is a real and very serious match. There's a lot of money at stake. Five, four, um, did I hear a Please phone? I think I did, yeah. Oh dear, that's very unfortunate. Okay. That's very unfortunate. Five, four. You got your phone switched off, Jill? Always. <laughs> oh yeah, well done. That's a good Five, fight four. back here to level up. And Gun Mitsutani certainly will be delighted with that situation now. His backhand has worked a couple of times. The forehand came to his rescue, but it's down the middle, isn't it? And he's taken the lead at 5 6, 6 5. Okay, 6 all. This really is for real, isn't it? You can tell they are all absolutely committed. Not just to giving us great entertainment, but they are looking so hard all the time. There's Timo looking at it, you can see it, looking at this match as well, wondering who he's going to have to play. He did actually say in an interview that he wanted to play Dimitri, although he, he's lost to him several times before he wants to get his own back. Wow. Yeah, well, he's, he's played him twice. Um well, not World that long Cup, ago. Yeah, World Cup and, and also German, German Open. Open. Yeah, exactly. Eight, six. Well, Mitsutani. Wow. He's got an 8-6 after coming back from 5-1 down. Can you believe it? Yeah. Well, he's not afraid of counter-punching, I can tell you. He's just his dynamic uh, ability to turn defense into attack. It almost works for him all the time here you go oh, oh, oh. <laughs> turn the tail on you absolutely excellent for eight all now well done dimitri and th that was a great serve by mizutani reverse serve followed it in with a good third ball but Ocharov was there ready waiting well played Ocharov nine, has now eight. taken the lead at nine eight Tell you, they are battling for real here. This is a fantastic experience to see them up close. Oh, oh dear. That's hey. amazing. Hey. That is unbelievable from uh, Ovcharov. Just look at this. Bang, down the middle. Absolutely no chance. Hey. Good placement hey. there. <laughs> the crossover position. Mizutani didn't even attempt to nope. play a stroke. 8 10, two game points, Obdurov. And it's still in the balance here nine. at 9 10. This is an extraordinary matchup. We're going to get a very tight finish. You can feel it. The air, the atmosphere in the cavern is fabulous. He's missed it, it's 10 all. We'll have one more point here. It will be the first to 11. 
just 18 minutes left. They've already taken seven minutes here with this first game. Ten all. Sudden death. This point will win it. Off Ovchov. And he's got it! 11-10, yeah. Dmitry Ovchirov. After B, that really was a swings and roundabouts. It was up in the air, it was down on the ground. It was anybody's game, right to the end, Jill. Yes, it was a bit like cat and mouse, wasn't it? There, one was got a point, the other one got a point. But uh, maybe the next game we'll have a few more rallies. There didn't seem to be that many rallies in that first game, but uh, Ochirov came through there, 11-10. Well, it was 5-1 up, and you expected it to be easy for him. As it turned out, it was anything but. He was struggling a little bit. But here we go, Mitsutani, second game. Good forceful play. That's a nice camera, isn't it? Christmas is in the air. Christmas comes to the Pinewood Studios in Iskander. Uh-oh, well, that was a bit lazy, footwork. Yeah, didn't quite get his feet round to play that forehand, but then you often see Mizutani just lean and play his forehand, but... Uh, what? Didn't quite that, get there this time. No, that counter backhand, it's invariably, it's effective, and it's right on the button. You missed that one. One, two. to repeat that um, it was because of Vladimir Samsonov's withdrawal from the semi-final. Mitsutani is here, but they are the best of friends, and I'm sure Vladimir will be wishing both of these players the best of good fortune. They're very good friends. Two, three. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Yay! What a backhand that was. Jeez. Did you see that ball? I didn't. <laughs> it came to do very quickly. See? Very quick oh. off the bounce. The backhand from Mitsutani was sensational. Three all. Four, three. Is there anything happening with the spin there? There must have been something unusual. And I've got the tomahawk serve. Yeah. Oh, 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 that was clever. He was lucky to get away with that. There was no big power on it. Took the power off it completely. Mm. Yeah, that will annoy Dimitri, that. Four all. No, a little bit lazy there. Mitsutani did well to keep it in control. Not too much force, but a lot of heavy topspin on that. I think Ochoa was trying to do a side spin block. Oh, good! Just that a little bit of different shape on the final, or well, the penultimate shot there from Ochoa did the damage. Just a bit of extra pressure. Five all. Fourteen minutes left in the whole match. We've only had one and a half games. Unbelievable. Okay. Five, six. He's an intense competitor, is Dmitry Ovchirov. Talking to him at breakfast this morning, he's admitted that he he obviously enjoys table tennis enormously, enjoys his success, but he hates leaving the family. And, six. Uh, oh. and it's six all. The family is so important to him at the moment, of course. The baby as well. It's oh. very, very difficult when you're a touring pro like this. Jill, you've had it for years. Yes, it is a, It is difficult, uh, but that's the nature of the job. Um, yeah. When you're a table tennis player, you are Six. away an awful oh. lot. But it, uh, it's always difficult for the one who gets left behind. Correct. Left. Six. Oh. It's interesting just looking at the stats that Ochoa offers 
won the most points within the first three strokes and uh, Misitani has uh, won more points when it's gone when beyond the, three. When the, when the rally has developed, that mm. is interesting. Mitsutani 7-6 at the moment. He needs this one to level things up. Oh, what a shot! Unbelievable! Wow! Can you... Oh, man. I know that I make a lot of noise, but I tell you what, I could not believe that backhand from Mitsutani. And that was a great backhand punch, but what a great angle he got. Oh. He's done it with the forehand. Okay, it only needed to be half table because of the angle he had. But just look at this, six nine. Great fighting spirit by John Mitsutani. But you could see him move round. Yep. Anticipating where it was going. And, and now to ten. Ten six Mitsutani. Four chances to take this second game and level things up. Left, ten six. No, oh, that's it. Good service again. Very tight at the net for the second serve. But I tell you what, that's that has set things up absolutely perfectly for us to be entertained royally in the second oh, half yeah, of this match. Yeah, this seven, this block there. But also good yeah, when game's you change, going you one all. Let's see what Jürgen's got to say to him. He's not, uh, you get this uh, left, and he don't know, yeah? So this is very important. And your service, yeah, like change also. This. And this forehand spin, straight one, weight lifted for it, and then make it low, yeah? Okay, good, good. So change the service. Hi. You know, sometimes make one slow when you attack. Same tactics for both men. They've uh, both players. They've got to change the service, do something different. First point off the service, Dimitri. It is one all. This is the third game, but once again, it's that clock that is so important. Oy, well, he just overstretched there. One all. One all. One all. Less than 12 minutes left. Who's going to have a place in the final against Timo Boll? One, two. Oh, oh that's oh, really good. Three, yeah, good angle five. there. Oh, fabulous. Really good work, Dimitri. Oh, yeah, but just touch the edge. He was... Uh, just apologising. <laughs> Off the take this time in a way, we do. Jorgen Pearson has shown himself to be a very lucky coach, isn't he, in terms of his charges getting through to these stages, so you wouldn't put it past you and Mr. Tani to, uh, to do something special. Watch out here. Watch out here, three all. Oh, and just listen to the crowd, they love this really quick action play. Three, four. Both players making sure that they use the towel down just to compose themselves, think about what they're going to do, start the game again. Oh, 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 oh Three, dear. Four. Archerov, outrageous forehand. It came back with interest. It was faster coming back than when he received it. Unbelievable. Even Muzitani was smiling. Uh-huh. Four all. You just have to appreciate how skillful these guys are. I tell you, it's, uh, it's amazing. It looks so simple, but everything they're doing requires an unbelievable talent and years of skill training. Oh, that's going into the crowd for sure. 5 4 Ocherov. Yeah, these table tennis players spent hours in the training hall perfecting their strokes, service, and a lot of uh, physical work is done as well. Oh, well four, done, Ocherov fought back there nicely, and it's 4 6. He's really determined. Four, he doesn't want to come six. all this way 
to go home with third place. That's for sure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. another beautiful counter-attack. You can take nothing for granted. You've just got to keep following up. Look at that. Unbelievable. It's milliseconds, isn't it? It's not even... It's not even thinkable. You've just got to have that reaction. Yeah, an Octorop is seems to be playing an awful lot. Down the line. Yep. Eight, four. To be fair, he did actually tell me today. I said, you know, what do you actually think? What's your, what's your real gut feeling about this? He said, well, it's intense and it's difficult, and we've got lots of travelling. But he said, my performance this year has been stunning, Nine, and I might even four. attribute those uh, that improvement in my performance to this T2 co co competition. So that's a really, really good. Uh, a really good thing to say about something that's been a big venture. Oh, okay. again, beauty. Well, I've heard that from no. Paul Drinkall as well and Bernadette Sox. They've, um, they've both said that um, how T2 has improved their table tennis. So that's, that's good to see. Six. It's good to see nine. and it's good to hear. Indeed. 6 9. Mitsutani's not out of this one at the moment. Minute. There's a, a one minute timeout called. And Rossi, Ross Scott has uh, called it, he just wants off to off over the line here, yeah, that's for sure. Well, he's speaking German and I can't understand German. Oh, well, no. I understood that bit. Yeah, then you can hold it in, and now you're going a little too quick, and then he see what you are making, okay? Good, good. How's your sweet Swinglish? Swedish English. Well, again, we have been royally entertained. It's a magnificent setting here inside the cavern at the Pinewood Studios. I think all the organizers, nine, six, nine. Jeff and Frank, can be really, really pleased, delighted with what they've achieved. Way off the edge there for nine, seven. seven. Oh, dear. It ain't done until it's done, and you have to say that that timeout was probably not a successful one. He's done it again. Look at that. Nine. A little bit off the uh, the tape that put him off, but look at this nine eight Mitsutani creeping nine. forward again. Eight. Down, up, bend of the knees, and then up. Rising up out of the table. Okay, well done. Well, that was great. Well worked, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good service there and following. I executed that well, Ocharov. Mr. Tony would be disappointed with that for sure. It's game points now. Just under seven minutes left in the match. Just look at those eyes. That's focus. Aren't we treated to something special? 11 points to 8. Ofterov has taken the third game. He leads by 2-1. But I tell you, it's not all over yet. We've still got some drama in prospect yet. But well done, Ofterov. 11-10, 6-11, 11-8. Hey, Bernie, and the two finalists here. Only two no. of the three oh. finalists we've got at the moment. We've got Bernie against Peng Tianwei and Timo having a good chat. Left. Really great to see. Oh. Right, we're back into the action. It's now the fourth game. Jun swaps the ball for good luck here. This is off the tape and away. Oh. Dimitri will be absolutely determined to hold on to this lead. Uh, good change of shape there from Jun. Yes, yes, he's uh, 
two hold down and he knows he's got to stay with him. Can't let Ocharov pull away. Only five minutes left in this match. Two all. Yep, uh, even if they carry on playing for these uh, nearly five minutes and they haven't finished the game, that will make it two all even if we don't get to 11. It's on a time basis. Again, he went from the backhand to the forehand and didn't move his feet. I know you say he likes that lean away, which is fine. I know that. I've seen him play it many times before. But he missed, ultimately, he missed the table. That's better for three all. He stepped in. Quickly there, Mizutani. And got that winner. Three. Oh. Yeah, they both can absolutely fire these balls in from anywhere. I wonder what Jorgen is thinking there in his day. Was I as good as these guys? He played until, wow, well into his 40s. Jorgen as well, didn't he? He did, and oh, he was a fantastic player. Oh, play the game, Sam. That is unbelievable. Wow. That was real exhibition stuff. How on earth did he get that back? Still in with a chance. And then ultimately, he tried to counter punch there from way, way back. Had he made it, it would have been sensational. As it is, it was Ovchirov's rally. And he raises his hand in triumph, quite rightly. Oh, he missed that one for all. It's funny, isn't it? You, you know, you have fantastic rallies like that, and then uh, the next point, it can just be over. That's what is so fascinating about this sport. That's what keeps these boys motivated to train hour after hour after hour to entertain us. It's amazing. OK, there's personal pride, but there's also the sensational ability to, uh, to put on a great show. Mitsutani, 5-4, with two... Just over two and a half minutes left. I bet when I said you may be surprised if we don't get to 11 at that stage with five minutes left, but I tell you, they are very competitive. And at five all, we'll do well to get to 11. Oh, oh. gee whiz, no one knew where that ball was going to go, least of all Mitsutani. Yeah, I think he changed his wrist at the last minute. <laughs> he was going <laughs> on a full that side, that's funny. Oh. oh, he missed that one. Okay, here's a big chance now for Obdurov. Mitsutani, he's got to hang, he's got to hang tight here. He's got to hang really tough. Five, ten, uh, seven, it's uh, 151 left. Five, seven. It's a must win point here for Mitsutani on his own serve. He has won it. Wow, what a good serve. Very good serve. <laughs> missed, missed that completely, Ocharov. Yeah, an air shot. You don't see that often. 6-7. Seven. Seven. Same again for Jun. And he has made it. It's 7-all. That is really, really important. 131 left. Again, if Mitsutani comes out on top here, we'll go for the tiebreaker. We're already in kill zone country. Unbelievable blocking. Oh, yes. 8 7. What a fantastic rally. Brilliant finish, Mitsutani. Goodness me, what a shot. <laughs> wow. He liked that one, didn't he? Arigato <laughs> Gazayamas. Brilliant. 7 8. 50 seconds left. And that is now a big statement. We could well be going for a tiebreaker at 38 seconds and counting down. 9 7. If he gets to 11 before the, the clock, it will go to the kill zone. 9 7. Which is a first to five. I prefer the tiebreaker, wouldn't you? 
Oh, he's missed it. 20 Nine. seconds, though. Eight. 19 and counting. 9 8. Wow, Nine. we could still eight. run out of, out of uh, time here. Please play. 10. It's 9 8. Tie break, perhaps. <laughs> it's our 9 all. And we will get the final point right here for this moment. And we're going to get the sudden death here. If Mitsutani Nine. wins it, we go to a playoff, a tie break to first to 11. If Ofjurov wins this point, he is in the final against Timo Boll. Just look at the smile on Mitsutani, an ironic smile, a disappointing smile. Here we go, final point. This is a killer for one way or the other. Will it be Ofjurov? He's got the serve. Here you go. Killer point. He's got it! Okharov is in the final against his German com a comrade, and I have to say, it's going to be a special final. Timo Boll versus Dmitry Okharov. He just had a little bit more than Jim Mitsutani. He turned the tables on previous matches in the T2 competition with each other. It was too love to Mitsutani on this occasion. Ovcharov's determination came out on top, but wow, what a squeak to do it. That was fantastic game by these two, and now we've got the two Germans in the final. Ovcharov and Timo Boll. Uh, I wonder if uh, Ovcharov will continue with his wins over Timo Boll, or whether he'll, Timo will get his revenge. There's a lot of money at stake, Jill, and that could, I know it's, it's, uh, it's not a very, very pleasant thing to say, but I tell you what, it's a big motivating factor just before the Weihnachten season, the Christmas season. I tell you what, you'd be able to buy some lovely baubles for your Tannenbaum, wouldn't you? Hey? You certainly would. <laughs> Germany versus Germany in the final, then it will be. Ofcharov and Timo Ball, Jun Mitsutani will play against uh, Chung for the Chung for the uh, bronze medal. Uh, there's still a lot of money at stake, but just look at that. He has been all around the world. He's played brilliantly in many places outside of this Pinewood Studios. But I tell you what, he does credit the competition here with giving him that extra bit of zip and confidence. And ultimately, teammates they might be, but I tell you what, Look at that, points total, 38 each, it couldn't have been closer. Service aces all together, 47, can you believe that? Right down until the edge balls, and then it's in favor of Ovcharov. But uh, so kill shot, wow, fantastic. So that was the conclusion wow, of the men's We've championships playoff. Dmitry Ocharov, the person to secure his spot in the final, meeting his German teammate, Timo Ball. It is a repeat of the World Cup final. But first, let's uh, look at Jun Mizutani's input on his missed chance here to uh, moving into the final. You know, it's been a long season here in T2 APAC. Can you give us a rough summary about your experience here in the league as a whole? Yes, I enjoyed matches and I'm sad I lose today. What's the reason for uh, your loss today? Uh, I had some chance, but uh, actually he he was really aggressive. Yes. I did. Uh, I was negative. But let's stick to the positive. Let's not be negative. It's not over for you. The fight here in the team championships. You know your team still needs you. So uh, what else can you bring to the table and your hopes for your team? Yes. I try to change my hurt. I focus tomorrow. Okay, all the best, Jun Mizutani, for the team championships tomorrow. But let's uh, talk to the uh, men's championship finalist, Dmitry Ocharov. That was a scare, actually. Jun Mizutani gave you quite a big fight. What are your thoughts on this uh, particular playoff? Well, I think this is the first victory for me over Jun for a very long time. Uh, he has beaten me twice at T2, and I think... Uh, three times before an international stage, so it gives me a lot of confidence that I'm on the right way. And as he said, it was a very tough match. Uh, many sets with one or two points uh, margin at the end. Uh, as he said, I, I risked a bit more. I went for the points, and I think uh, this uh, paid off at the end. And I'm very glad uh, to be in another big final. 
Absolutely. So a player as your caliber, you know, you can definitely handle the pressure very, very well. What is your secret to handling that uh, when push comes to shove and you really need to perform? Well, I'm running through pressure over a decade and uh, of course it's experience and I learned from hard defeats where I couldn't handle the pressure and it's a constant developing and uh, I'm trying to analyze my matches, see what I can do better and uh, right now if you have a lot of confidence, you can handle the pressure better. On the last note, you know, meeting Timo Ball, well, we've seen some amazing table tennis action from both of you. What is installed for us in this final? <laughs> well, I mean, we are waiting in every tournament, uh, lately in the finals, and it's always extremely tough, but uh, I think uh, he really want to win now, <laughs> and, uh, but I don't want to give up, and uh, I'm confident uh, to take another trophy with home, I mean. Look at the cup, it's beautiful, and I want to take it home. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we will find out what will happen. That will be on the 10th of December. Dmitry Ocherov will be going up against Timo Ball. But first, let's recap the results of today's amazing table tennis action from this men and women's championship. Feng Tianwei paved the way to the finals when she was the first to book her spot to the next round via a 3-1 win over Shi Xun Yao. Michael Mays was pleased when his second player, Timo Ball, emerged victorious, although it's not easy, uh, this win against Chuang Chi Yuan. Next, the beautiful Romanian, but at that search, caused an upset when she defeated first seed in the league. And Dimitri Arterov, of course, defeated his teammate, June Mizutani. So... Happening tomorrow on the 8th of December, the first part of Team Championships, where 150,000 US dollars are on the line. Three players from Team Maze and Team Person, respectively, will be trying to give their teams an early lead. And these are the players they will take center stage in the first part of the Team's Championship. Then we continue with the third and fourth place match in the Women's Championship, which will make way for the Women's Finals. Who will lift the Women's Championship? trophy in this inaugural season is it gonna be Feng Tianwei or is it gonna be Bernadette Search well what we've seen so far in regular season it is going to be a cracker of the match happening tomorrow 8th of December right here at Pinewood Iskandar Studios Johor Bahru my name is Jun Yong I'll see you then